very significant, but it's, uh, it's, it's a joy, it's a pleasure to be here in Canberra at uh, Parliament's house uh, to meet uh, Prime Minister Albanese, to meet uh, uh, Minister of Sport, to meet all the, the parliamentarians uh, and to see that uh, the heart of all of them is beating for uh, football or soccer, uh, whatever you call it, it doesn't matter, uh, for this World Cup, for the Matildas. No other sport like football, the beautiful game, the world game, has the ability to, to mark the national significance and to lift our country in the eyes of the world. This is an invitation for us to consider how our country is considered in the eyes of the world. And no other sport gives us the entry to diplomacy and to sporting diplomacy that this world game does. What I want to say here is, is a big, big thank you to the nation, to Australia, to New Zealand, who is co-hosting the World Cup as well, uh, and uh, to be here to see this enthusiasm uh, in this place, which is of course a historic place for the country, is uh, fantastic. In Australia is the biggest community participation sport, and our participants are rapidly growing. We estimate at the end of the Women's World Cup that we will see an increase of up to 20% on our participation uh, at the base of our pyramid. And this period is only going to be amplified post hosting the Women's World Cup. When we bid for this competition, we promised Australia that we would co-host the biggest event since the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. We promised FIFA and the FIFA presidents that we would host the biggest and the best ever Women's World Cup. And that's what we are seeing. He is of course a great leader, a great sports fan. Uh, and uh, we will have to cope, uh, of course, with uh, the big demands of girls and boys wanting to play football after this World Cup. I mean, this will become the number one sport in Australia as it is all over the world. Uh, we are working towards that. Every sport is great, of course, but, uh, but football is uh, fantastic. Best sport.